Oye, Cholo, tú estás trending. Ay. Trending. A ahorita. What? Pero siempre. Why? I don't know about all that. O sea, it's, it's my mom on, on Twitter. You are trending so much. You're like a hot tamale. Ay, thank you. I love, I love a good hot tamale, so... Thank so, you. what's coming up? I know you have a lot of projects coming up. Eh, ¿Hablas español? ¿Te sientes confortable? Sí, un poquito de español, pero entiendo muy bien. Las dos, los mezclamos. So, ¿Qué proyectos vienen? Porque yo sé que estás muy, muy ocupado trabajando. Sí, ahorita tengo el quinta temporada de Cobra Kai, obviamente. I mean, we were five years in and it's, it's, it's un gran placer to, to portray this character and create this family. Y también tengo una película que se llama Blue Beetle. Un superhéroe proyecto que el, el niño era uh, mexicano, chicano, and it's going to do a lot to push the needle, and, and I'm really grateful for DC and Warner Brothers for taking a chance on me. How did you get this far? Like, I know you started as a, uh, as a child, and you started doing commercials, but then you made it, and then you didn't stop. I Sometimes it feels like a fever dream. I, I honestly really don't know. I think a little bit of it is luck and a lot of it is, is you know, being born at the right time. I'm so grateful that as I'm starting to work more, the industry is starting to become more welcoming to people that look like myself, sound like myself, and both in front of the camera and behind the camera. So I don't really know how it's happened so far, but I'm starting to, uh, you know, fill out my, my toolkit and uh, hopefully get better at this. Did you already finish filming the Netflix series? Sí, eh, no, eh, Cobra Kai. ¿Todavía estás haciendo? Eh, ahorita solamente tengo el uh, película, Blue Beetle, y ya basta. We're finished, we're, we're done with it, and now it, it'll come out uh, agosto, 2023. ¿Y qué sigue de ahí? ¿Ya tienes palmado? Uh, tengo también una uh, serie que se llama The Ledger. Uh, that's we're still in early developments of that, but it's uh, going to be a really different story. I, I I love trying to pick up a new challenge and do something new. And you know, we have Cobra Kai, which really has opened the door to a lot of things. And now Blue Beetle, a superhero. So now we're trying something a little bit different, a little James Bond, uh, you know, uh, something different. What is your ultimate dream? Like, ¿dónde te ves a futuro? ¿Dónde te ves en un año, en cinco años? I can't. I can't say my ultimate dreams out there. I, no. I, no I, those, those are for myself. But I, but I will say, the dream to me is to open the door to as many Latinos, as many people of color, as many new faces as possible. That's the dream. Ha sido fácil. Es fácil para un latino o es un mito. Es realmente si tienes talento lo logras. No importa si eres latino, si eres afroamericano, si eres hindú o ¿O si sí hay como un estigma o si sí hay racismo en, en el cine en Hollywood? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo lo has visto tú en tu experiencia? People are very afraid of change, I think. And for the longest time, the doors that were closed to opportunities for people of color, women, people in the LGBTQIA community were, were closed. The narratives, the stories that were being told were purposely excluding them. And I think now more than ever, we're realizing that in order to really succeed in, in movies and, and representation and all these things that we're trying to push forward, our movies, our media has to be more reflective of the communities that they're supposed to be embodying. And I think, I think a lot of the systems that we've created, not even in movies, in legislation, in, in a lot of different things, are totally racist are totally designed to oppress and to keep certain groups out and that needs to be recognized. And I'm so glad right now to be a part of the disruption and be a part of the change, hopefully. Because you are being part of the change. Yes, yes, hopefully. What's on your playlist? Like, what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to a lot of jazz. I've been listening to a lot of French pop recently. Ah, si? Sí? ¿Te sabes alguna canción? Yell. Si, sí. here, look, let me, let me pull it up. Aquí. Triste, triste, joie. Y cómo va esa? Y el y e. Eso es lo que tú escuchas. Es un French pop, like pop music. Sí, French pop. Triste, nos estamos joie. Triste, joie. Je ne sais pas. ¿Qué haces en tus hobbies, en tus pasatiempos? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Um, I I love music. 
I love music. I've been getting more into reading recently, but watching movies is my favorite thing. Right now, uh, ahorita estoy uh, viendo el serie House of Dragon, el Game of Thrones. Oh, you're into that? Yeah. Super, super so cuando into sales that. de grabar y quieres relajarte, you go to Netflix and watch Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, that's that's the one right now. I also love uh, Cobra Kai. I just finished the fifth season. So. Of course. Uh, can you tell us what your necklace is about? I was looking at your necklace. My necklace, uh, it's it's uh, a necklace that I that I always wear. I hold it very close, and it's and it's a heart. It's, ¿Quién te lo regaló? Uh, I don't know. Ay, no sé, no sé. ¿Tienes algún tatuaje en tu cuerpo? Uh, me? Yeah. You have a tattoo? I do have a couple tattoos, yeah. I have a matching one. Oh, not with Jacob, with my other friends. I, but it's, I, I'd have to take off my pants. It's, it's okay. No You're worries. very young, aren't you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? 21. 21. 21 años? Este muchacho está arrasando, estás jovencito. Tienes mucho tiempo para adelante. No te cases, no te cases pronto. No te cases. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have to have it figured out right now. Oh. Muchísimas gracias. Me regalas una foto porque he estado eh, esperando este orgullo latino uh, para entrevistarlo.